Hi, can I get a free upgrade? No, but let me tell you how much it would be to upgrade. So I see that you're staying for two weeks, so the total to upgrade to a suite would be $1,500. One second, please. Okay, I like that upgrade now, please. Great, should I just charge a $1,500 for your card? Actually, if you look again, I'm now an ambassador of Intercontinental. I signed up for $200 instead of paying $1,500, which pretty much guarantees an upgrade anywhere in the world for the next year whenever I stay with you guys, so. Thank you for being an ambassador of our hotel. Enjoy your suite. And how do I know this works? Because I just did it here in Korea! <laughs> A strange thing happened on the plane today. A group of vampires came on board and told me they were thirsty. So after boarding, I asked them what they wanted to drink. The first vampire asked for really hot blood. On Genie Air, we never say no, so I found a way to get the blood. The second vampire asked for really cold blood, so I got that for her as well. But the third vampire just asked me for hot water. Super confused, I asked her, don't vampires only drink blood? She takes out a use pad and says, I'm making tea. Wow, what a beautiful house. Why wasn't this sold in 20 years? As the realtor, I have a responsibility to disclose that over 20 years ago, a family of five was brutally murdered and the murderer chopped them up into pieces and ate them before killing himself. Uh, residents have claimed that this property is haunted, but who believes in haunted houses anyways, yeah. right? I guess that happened so long ago, but oh my god, what is that? Playing around. Just think of her as like a friendly neighborhood spider, you know? Just always hanging around. Yeah, no, I don't think I want this house. <laughs> Listen, take the house today and I'll knock off $50,000 from the purchase price. I'll take it! Something right here, right here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love you! Sugar babes? Hello? Hey, is Johnny there? No, he's not here right now. Who's this? Oh, this is Chris, his girlfriend. Girlfriend? What are you talking about? This is his wife speaking? Oh, hell no. We've been dating for the last eight months. Excuse me? We've been married for the last six years. You have got to be kidding me. You tell Johnny I'm not helping him pay for his mortgage anymore, okay? Tell him I want everything I bought him back. And you can tell him I'm removing his ass off my Netflix account. Girl, I'm just kidding. I'm his sister. Yo, I'll tell Johnny you called, okay? Uh, welcome to the family. Bye. That was close. I need you all to be extra cautious and suspicious with everyone coming in with a child. There has been an increase in child abduction cases, so I need you all to take note. Understood? Different last names. Hmm. I'm going to question the kid because they're usually honest. I'm going to ask your child a question. Where are you going? United States? Hmm, she doesn't really know. United States where? United States of Disneyland? United States of <coughs> Disneyland? Welcome to the United States of Disneyland. Make sure you get the fast pass. Thank you. Get me your supervisor. I'm the supervisor of economy class. How can I help you? Yes, the other flight attendant with blonde hair and black glasses has got to be the worst flight attendant ever. First, I asked for coffee, and then 30 minutes later, she brings me socks. I still never got my coffee. And she's always on her phone. That is so unprofessional. And she's got to be the rudest person I have ever met in my entire life. There must be a misunderstanding. Lindsay is one of the best flight attendants we have. Got to be kidding me. Yeah, 
You're just as bad as she is. You know what? Get me the manager of the plane. What, what do you call it? A purser. Certainly. And bring me a complaint form. Hello, ma'am. I am the purser on this plane. I understand you have a complaint to file. Yes, that's correct. Please fill out this complaint form and I will take care of it. See? Now this is great service. Why can't the rest of them be like you? I'll file this for you right away. Thank you. Change your looks with pair eyewear. Use my code Genie15 for 15% off. Hi, um, my, my seat's in the middle. Hey, don't believe my luck. I'm sitting next to not one, but two fat people. I'm not even talking like fat, I'm talking like fat. Yeah, at least I'll be warm, right? Please don't talk about us like that. Excuse me, please don't listen to all my conversation. Sorry, is there a problem here? Yeah, no, she's like listening in our conversation. Like, rude. Can you please remove this passenger to another seat? She's being verbally abusive. Hey, I gotta call you back. Uh, excuse me. Look, I can't even move my arms. It is not my fault that they're huge. Ma'am, if you just asked, we could have moved you to yeah, another seat. I would seat. love to be moved. Thank you. I eat salad. What is this? Where are you taking me? You're going to need to find another flight to take you to your destination, okay? You're removing me because they're fat and they're literally in my space and made me uncomfortable? No, we're kicking you off because you're disgusting. Things you didn't know about cabin crew! The Forbidden Cockpit! Let's go! To all the influencers that keep requesting to take photos in the cockpit while we're in mid-flight. It's not gonna happen, so please stop asking. We are crew, and you know how hard it is for us to even get in? When cabin crew want to access the cockpit, there are strict procedures that we need to follow. Why? I'm just going to say it. It's to prevent psychos from hijacking the plane. You can only open the doors from inside the cockpit. Airlines will have their own strict procedures. I was trained to first clear the area, make sure that no passengers are around. If there is a lavatory close to the cockpit, we will first make sure it's vacant and then keep it locked open. Another crew member will remain on guard for you to ensure that no one else enters your space. And then we knock on the cockpit door, smile for the cameras, and maybe they'll let you in. Same thing for when we leave the cockpit. We have to make sure everything is clear. So we check the people, check the camera, check with the crew. Everything is good. We leave. Hey, can I take a photo in the cockpit? No! Yo, we have an A-list celebrity sitting in the last row of economy and the passengers are going crazy! No way! They didn't tell us in briefing though. Who is it? Good morning, ma'am. It's such an honor to have you on board today. Are you traveling by yourself? Uh, yes, I am. Just checking to see if you're okay. Um, if you would like more privacy, I can check if there's space in business class for you. Thank you so much for your kind offer, but I really want to sit here if I'm not causing too much trouble. I'm actually traveling on a mission trip and they sent me this ticket and I really, really want to honor their gift. And sitting in business class and receiving special treatment just doesn't sit right with me on this trip. I hope you understand. I understand and respect your decision. I'm a huge fan. Yo, those celebrities are taking half of the economy. Oh, it's because they're on their missionary trip, so they need the celebrities and their crew. Oh, that makes sense. Hello, sir. Can I help you with anything? Oh, hey. You know who I am, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So as you know, I'm going on a mission trip, so I need to be well rested. And economy is so uncomfortable, and people are just bothering me with autographs. So I'm just going to chill here, if that's okay with you. Certainly, sir. I'm just gonna go check to see how much it'll be to upgrade you to business, okay? Uh. Welcome aboard! Oh my! You are so beautiful for an Asian! Wow, look! Perfect face, perfect figure, beautiful legs! You know what? Here. For you. Th thank you? What's this? <laughs> It's my son's phone number. He's a doctor. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, hello there. 
I guess we're sea buddies. Lucky for you because I make the best sea buddy because I have snacks. You want one? No, thank you. <clears throat> Sweetie, are you cold? Let me warm you up. Please don't touch me. You had a baby? No, I took the baby from the sleeping mom over there. What? I know, poor thing. The mom was knocked out. She must be very tired. I know how hard it is to be a mom, so I just wanted to help out. My baby, where's my baby? Boop. Psst. What? Is she new? Shoe? Yeah, she's new. Initiation? Oh. Initiation. Hey, it's your turn to check the air quality in each cabin and then make sure to give it to the captain, okay? Check the air quality and give it to the captain. Okay! Hi, Captain. I have the air quality sample for you. What? Tales from the skies, let's go. Ma'am, are you okay? Can I get you anything? Oh yeah, I just couldn't find the puke bag. If you need it, the puke bags are located in the seat pocket in front of you. Oh, I, I didn't see that, but it's okay. Here. Are you trying to give me vomit? Yeah, can you take this? Tales from the skies, let's go. Which country are we flying over right now? Ma'am, we're going from LA to New York. Yeah, I know. The cities are both in the United States. So, so we're flying over the United States. Oh. We will be arriving in New York shortly, where the local time is 5 p.m. You mean 3 p.m. The flight was only three hours. There's a time zone difference, ma'am. So we're traveling into the future? No, we're just in a different time zone. Well, every second of every day, we're advancing into our own future. So if we're in their future, when they're advancing into their future, we have forwarded to their future, right? True tales from the skies. Let's go. <clears throat> Ma'am, what are you doing? I'm trying to open the window so I can throw out my baby's diaper. Ma'am, we're on a plane. I know. What's your point? And even if we weren't on a plane, that's still messed up. So please, just give me the diaper. Steven, can you please give the lady in 15 see her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelet. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady. Mother! Mother, mother, mother! Ma'am, that's an omelet. Stephen, you're not supposed to yell at the passengers! It's not my fault she's not making any sense! Mother! The bring me mother! Mother! She's talking about the egg's mother? She wants chicken! Mother <laughs> What's wrong? Huh? <gasps> okay, I'm not allowed to tell you this, but I need your help. I work as an asset for the CIA. <laughs> Sweetie, I love you, but you are terrible, terrible flight attendant. There is no way you work with the CIA. I'm being serious right now. Look, my best friend sent me this cryptic message. So? She's a criminal, and I haven't been able to reach her for a year. She's in trouble, I know it. You gotta help me. Hmm. I got it. You're going to find the penguin from 
happy feet. You're gonna feed him cherries and he'll out a key, which then you'll bring to the king of Liberia, who will then tell you where your friend is and you use the code 7700 and you free her. You idiot! Give me this, I'll do it. I got it. I know where she is. So, were you right? Did you find your friend? Well, you can find out on season two of The Flight Attendant, streaming now on HBO Max. Babe, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Yeah, let's go eat. Okay, what should we eat then? I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know. 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 What do you want? What the hell do you want to eat, damn it? It doesn't matter now, does it? Oh my, you took out that water from before, right? Aw. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh. What is this? Oh, that's my pee. Oh, happy pee. Make me pee very, very nice. Oh. Really? Well, they're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh, my, you can't say that word here. Where? I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm going to get this checked. Great, now we're going to be late. Could have beat them in the way. Ah! Oh, my, why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh, my, please stop. Dreamer, dreamer. What is the money there? That's a really cute pin. Thank you. Pen. Oh, 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 Two tickets for the concert in LA. You wanna come? Hello, excuse me, excuse me. Ma'am. Oh, you need to put on your seatbelt, please. Oh my god. It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so flattered that you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like, it's really firm. Squeeze it. Touch it. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. What's your type? I like a man who's sexy. Oh yeah? Then what am I? Sexy. <laughs> I'm giving you shade. I like you. I'm not interested. I like you. I said no. I like you. Oh my gosh, you're so obsessed with me. I like you. <laughs> the passenger in 40C was like rude to me for no reason. Hey, I know, this job is hard sometimes. <laughs> is this funny to you, Lindsay? Hey, I just want to say sorry for being rude to you earlier. What did you say to him? I just told him if he doesn't apologize to you for being an ass, and I'm going to share this photo of him that I found with his pants down on every single screen on this plane. But that's not true. He doesn't know that. Miss, can I get a Coke, please? Of course. Sandra, 40C's looking for you. Oh, okay. Hello, you asked for me? 
Yeah, I uh, wanted a Coke. Lindsay, the passengers wanted a Coke. Really? That's so weird. Lindsay! What? Your lipstick needs to be red. Ew, no, I look gross in red. You know it's company standard. Change it or you're off this flight. Ugh, fine. Someone give me a red lipstick. Someone give me a red lipstick. Excuse me, I just want to say, you're gorgeous. Thank you. She's all right. And who might you be? Her boyfriend. Uh, now and every day that she's the most beautiful person on this planet before I throw you off the plane! You are the most beautiful person on this planet.